Hello, hello, good evening class. How are you guys? Bienvenidos chicos, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello, good evening. How are you guys? ¿Cómo están chicos? How was your day? Hello. Excellent. Hello, hello, teacher. Excellent. Very good. So nice to hear you. I'm okay. Perfect. Safe and sound. Seguro ya en casita. Yes, yes. Perfect. Okay, guys, so we're going to start with our session for today. And just let me um, well, look for something to share with you. Okay, esperamos ahí que se conecten, que no nos hacen falta por ahí. And let me see. So I'm going to try with the balloon today and let me share with you the link. So please uh, help me enjoy the link. Okay, vamos a comenzar chicos. Vamos a empezar acá con uh, nuestra primera actividad. Ahí les he compartido el enlace ya para que lo vayamos viendo, lo vayamos abriendo todos. Ahí está el enlace en the meeting chat, so you can go and open it. Okay. So, because I want you to do this with me. Que lo vayamos haciendo juntos. Okay, ya todos tienen el enlace, chicos. Okay, nice. So now let's start. So let's see how well you do it. So I'm going to show you some prepositions of time and you have to tell me the correct answer, okay? Vamos haciéndolo juntos. So here we have the choo-choo train <laughs> and you have to select <laughs> the correct preposition in the correct word. Uh, oh, oops. So you have to be fast. I'm not really fast. <laughs> yes. Tienen que ser rápido, chicos. A saber, yo voy a ir poniendo ahí los que me quepan a mí. Ustedes también tienen que forzarse ahí con lo suyo. <risa> ok, bien, veamos quién más está por acá. ¿Quién más está por acá? Wilbur. Ok, Wilbur. La evening, 21st century. Vamos a ver cuántas obtenemos acá. 21st century. So again, the train is coming. Oh, oops, in January. So I got one. ¿Cuál otra va ahí, chicos? Okay, so you send me the results. Le envíen los resultados. A ver cómo les fue. Acá yo lo estoy haciendo en el mío. Y winter. Oops. Esto es demasiado rápido para mí. Este tiempo me presiona. El tiempo me está presionando este día, miren. Level 3, pero pasé al nivel 3. Saturday. So, what's the preposition? In Saturday, on Saturday. At Saturday, January. Again. My birthday. No, that's not okay. In. Sí, a little bit faster. Decades. In the evening. So I'm getting dizzy. Yeah, me marea viajar en tren. In the 20s. In the 20s. The decades. November 26. No. My birthday. No, right? In the 20s. In the evening. That's right. Decades. Okay, we need extra time. Oh, oops. And this is like, I'm kind of listening now. 
No tengo buena puntería, me acabo de dar cuenta. <risa> ok. A quienes van ingresando en el chat, ahí les hemos compartido el enlace para que ustedes vayan haciendo la dinámica también. And I, I well, I'm not really good at this. <laughs> sí. Y ahí no, fue no parece nada en el chat. Morí en el intento. <laughs> ok, vamos a ver. Estaba muy rápido. Estoy demasiado veloz. Let's see. Let's see like another one. ¿Cuántos lograron hacerlo? Yo no sé si el que estoy haciendo es. Debe de ser. Sí. Porque me van a hacer falta palabras. <risa> yeah, that was too fast. Ok, les compartimos ahí el, el otro. Vamos a ver cómo nos va con este. Esperamos que nos vaya mejor con este. Let's have to try. Ok, how about this one? Ahí, so check the meeting chat. Check the meeting chat and we're going to see how well you do it. Para que también va. Ok, so we have a quiz. Question one. I get up. At, on, or in. Guys? Yes. A, B, or C? Quickly. A. A, okay. Perfect. Very good. So this is easier, like my level. <laughs> uh, let's see. We have another one. Well, time bonus. Question two. Get ready. My birthday is Sarita. What do you think? A, B, or C? In. In. Okay. Okay. So you need the 50-50. No, right. La llamada al público. O la llamada. Sí. So let's continue with the next one. Question three. Uh, get ready. I don't go to school. Leonel, what do you think? A, B, or C? Nailea, Marlene, what do you think? On. On. Okay. On Saturday. Perfect. So that's right. On Saturday. On Saturday. Fatima, what do you think about this one? So we're ready for the next one. Okay. okay, so we have a bonus round. And let's see. Select one word. Just wait. Number three. Three, this one. Yes. Okay, last 50 points. <laughs> Come on, Fatima. <laughs> No, we cannot be listening to this. You say, estamos perdiendo hasta el martes. Come on, guys. I get up. <laughs> Not on or in. At. At. Okay. Perfect. So I get up at. A mí. Agua quiere osito. Okay, bonus round, Marlene, pick one, please. One and five. Just one. One. One, one. okay. One. Okay. 
So the ones that we lose, the ones that we lost. Actually, bonus round. Let's see, we have four more. Leticia, what do you think? My mom goes shopping. On. 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 Perfect. Janet, you ready for the next one? <laughs> Janet, get ready. <laughs> Let's see, we have question A. Well, sentence. I have autumn holidays. Um, in November. In. A, B, or C? <laughs> C. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> In right in summer seasons. Let's see. Um, another one. We have three or I'm not. Yeah, two more. Question nine. We go to the library. Okay. On Friday, we go to the library of on Fridays, okay. And let's see, can I say que no, no está proyectando. Tatiana, es ingresa nuevamente. Si estoy compartiendo ahora, gracias. Okay, so try again, Tatiana, try. Intenta nuevamente, Tatiana, ingresar, que estás, oh, estás en otra pantalla. So, la pasa la tal vez la encuentro. Bonus round, let's see. Um, Nailea, pick one. One, two, three, four, five. Emerson, uh huh. One. Nailea, number one. Six. Okay. Yes, okay. And this is the last one. I will finish with this one. Okay, my friend goes swimming quarter past five. Quarter past five. Cinco y quince. Quarter past five. What do you think, guys? A, B, or C? Uh, uh. At, 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 okay, perfect with times. And we're finished. Huh? Okay, nice. Thank you, guys. So we passed the game. So now we continue with something else. And uh, well, we're going to have this short review about the previous topic, prepositions of time, at, in, and on, just for, uh, well, this is just a review. At, Sarita, can you read at, please, and what is it used for? De que utilizamos at. Sarita, can you read the information? Let me see if I'm sharing. Yes, ya lo vamos a hacer más grande. Yes. <laughs> it uses for exact time, meal time, points of time, festival, age, moment time, beginning and end. Okay, so here we have the usages for at as a preposition of time. Vemos acá, ¿y qué nos, y qué nos indicaba una preposición de tiempo, chicos? Nos indicaba horas exactas, horas de almuerzo, algunas expresiones ya fijadas, celebraciones. Bueno, that's it, right? Um, examples. Can you read the examples, Sarita? At 10 o'clock. Tengo mi teléfono, voy a un chiquito. At half past two. Gracias, teacher. At what time? At lunch, at dinner, at night, at dawn, at Christmas, at Easter, Easter? 
Eastern. Uh, but, on, but on Christmas Day, at the age of 14, and at the moment, at the present, at this, that time, at the same time, at the weekend, at the weekend, weekend. at the end of weekend, at the end of month of the moment, March, feel January, at the beginning of the game. Okay, perfect. So if you notice, here we have some other expressions. For example, at the moment, at time, at the beginning, at the end. Acá tenemos otras, miren, esas no aparecieron. Esta sí, esta también. Esta, no la, esta creo que no estaban en el día, las que vimos ayer. Y vemos los ejemplos por acá. At the moment, at present, at this, at that time. En ese tiempo. At the same time, al mismo tiempo, at the weekend, at the weekend, ahí está separado solo por la pronunciación, at the weekend, at the end of the month, al final del mes, al final del juego, at the end of the match, at the end of the film, al final de la película, at the end of January, y al final de, de un mes. Aquí está la otra que estamos comentando, at the beginning of the game, al inicio de juego. Ok, ah, también tenemos acá un paréntesis, at Christmas, at Easter, para festivales, uh, celebraciones, ¿verdad? Pero también tenemos on Christmas Day, el día de, en el día de Navidad. O sea, acá celebraciones y también días de celebraciones. Okay. Questions about that? So, can we continue with the next one? On. On is used for... Marlene, can you read that, please? Okay. On is used for days of week, parts of the day, day, anniversaries, festival, particular occasion. Okay. Examples? Uh, Monday. Uh, yes. On uh, Monday so or on Mondays? Ah, okay, on Mondays or Mondays, on Sunday, mm -hmm. Monday morning on Sunday afternoon, on July 1st, on the 3rd of March, on the birthday, on New Year's Day, on that day. Okay, perfect. So we have on for days of the week. Remember, día de la semana, utilizamos on in, para indicar un día de la semana, para indicar fechas específicas, partes de un día, eh, aniversario, cumpleaños, festivales, uh, on New Year's Day, y como lo veíamos acá arriba también, on Christmas Day, okay. probable. Eh, también tenemos ahí eh, aniversarios eh, y, bueno, este es el último, particular occasions on that day. On that day, for example, I was uh, dreaming that I fall from a tree. En ese día estaba soñando que me caía de un árbol. And then a dog uh, <laughs> did something. <laughs> okay. So now let's continue with in. And Fatima, can you help me with in? Can you read that information? Part of the day, months, years, seasons. Centuries, period, periods, periods, in the evening, period. in the evening, in the afternoon, but on Monday morning, mm -hmm. in May, in no sé cómo es este año. 2050 or in the 2050, 2050. in the spring. In the 20th century, 20th, 20th, years, 20th, time, 20th. 20th century, mm -hmm. 20. 20th, in two years, time, in a few minutes, in the end. In the end, okay. Bien, nada más recapitulando, recuerden, partes del día, utilizamos in. Y ya para partes más específicas, o qué día, y la parte de ese día, utilizamos on, on Monday morning. Solo mencionamos la parte del día, es in the evening, in the afternoon. Y a meses del año, con años también, utilizamos in. 
uh, in the spring with seasons of the year, in the spring, in the summer, in the autumn, in, let's say, in the fall, in the winter. And we also have centuries. Ahí tenemos los siglos también. Recuerden que lo vamos a leer como el número. In the 20th, uh -huh. Uh -huh, 20th century. So you have to check the Ajá, tenemos que checar y estudiar los números, que, la tablita con los números que les envié. So try to study them. Periods, también tenemos ahí los periodos de tiempo largos. Por ejemplo, eh, teníamos en los ejemplos anteriores, teníamos in the present, in the past. Y acá tenemos otra expresión que dice en dos años. En el periodo, en el lapso de dos años. In two years time, en pocos minutos, in a few minutes. We're going to start with our next activity. In a few hours, I'm going to be traveling to Japan. No, but I'm not traveling to Japan. No, but I'm um, in, a, let's see, in two hours time, I'm going to sleep, okay? Bien, y también tenemos una expresión que puede ser proximal acá en el final, como la utilizamos acá, at the end, con at. Ok, questions, preguntas, chicos. Eh, teacher, en la parte de abajo, al final, uh -huh. dice, había una nota. Ah, ¿esa? Ajá. Ah. Ahí notas, en las notas, no. Notas. Abajo. Ah, sí, sí. Ahí vamos. Ahorita vamos. Ah, okay. ok. Dice acá, we don't, we don't not use at, on, or in before. No vamos a utilizar las preposiciones antes de ciertas palabras. De ciertas palabras. Por ejemplo, this morning, this week, this Monday, uh, last August, last week, last Christmas. Um... For example, are you going out this Saturday? The garden was lovely last spring. We're going on vacation next week. Um, hay aquí en lo que pasa es que cambia un poquito el significado. Entonces depende de cómo lo estamos proyectando nosotros. Um, for example, in, on Saturday morning, I'm going to help you. Te ayudaré el, el sábado por la mañana. But are you going out this Saturday? Cambia el significado. Entonces, ahí, no necesariamente voy a poner un, ¿verdad? Last August. Entonces, nosotros utilizamos algunas otras palabras. Por ejemplo, this, un determinante, para decir esta mañana, esta semana, o este lunes. Um, last August, el, digamos, el, el último agosto, el agosto pasado. Last week, la semana pasada. Last Christmas. Entonces, lo que nos referimos es el cambio de significado que tiene con estas otras palabras. Si yo quiero decir, la semana pasada, el agosto pasado, la semana pasada también. So, you're going to use the word last. En este caso, utilizaríamos las palabras last. Uh, next Tuesday, next year. También podríamos utilizar eh, next, every day, every week. Para hacer algunas otras formas para indicar el tiempo. Um, let's see. Uh, we also have all, some, each, one, in, any. También podría ir, verse algunos otros ejemplos, pero más que todos serían, bueno, estos dos. Las August, pero recuerden que ahí cambia un poquito el significado. Estamos indicando qué pasó la semana pasada o la eh, última Navidad. Entonces, a eso se refiere con, con estas. Cuando no utilizarlas, cuando nuestro significado cambia. Yo quiero decir, la, el, last week, right? Last week, I went to a Metro Centro. Last week, I visited my mother. Next week, I'm going to visit uh, my father, for example. Okay. So now let's place these prepositions of time if necessary. I don't work. Let's see. So what's the correct preposition? I don't work. On Monday. On Monday. But. But. 
¿Necesitamos ubicar ahí otra preposición? No. No, no right? No es no, necesario. Yeah. No es necesario. Mm. But last Monday. Quiere decir, last no Monday. trabajé el lunes, mm. pero sí el lunes anterior, ¿verdad? El último lunes. Last, last Monday. Ocho días. Uh, seven days ago, right? I had to work. We're full. At. 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 Okay. Perfect. At the end of the month. At the month. I'm mm. leaving. On Friday. On Friday. On Friday. I go to, to my country home. house. Okay. Every, every other. Preposition? No. 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 Okay. No. Entonces, eso depende, ¿verdad?, de lo que estamos mencionando acá. Aquí ya no. Aquí lo que estamos utilizando. La regla. Ajá, estamos siguiendo este ejemplo que cuando llevamos las palabras this, last, next, every, y cualquiera de estas otras, no van a ubicar no. la posición porque ya está, su significado okay. ha cambiado. Es un poquito diferente. Vamos a ver. Um, I go to my country house every other Friday. Will you be at home? This evening? Tampoco. No. Tampoco. Okay. I'm afraid not. Let's meet. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. Perfect. Okay. Me temo, miren, ¿cómo decir? Me temo que no. I'm afraid not. Me temo que no. So, will you be at home this evening? I'm afraid not. Let's meet in the afternoon. Four. We usually go to friends in the summer. In the summer, in the in the the summer. summer. In yes. The summer. So remember that in the, in the summer, in the summer, in the summer. Um, but it has become so crowded. But it has become so crowded. So it well does muy. <clears throat> yeah, no, right there that. We decided to go to Spain. The Spain? The summer. The, in the summer. Summer. In, no, lleva. No, lleva. Lleva. ¿Por qué? Porque lleva acá. It's this this summer. summer. Okay. So let's read the sentence again. We usually go to France in the summer, in the but summer. it has become so crowded there that we decided not to go to Spain this summer. I don't often go out at night. At, at night, night. night. But, but, but yeah. at night is yeah. no. Okay. My brother is having a birthday party. I phone Robert. Miren, el verbo llamar también podemos decir iPhone. iPhone Robert. Robert. Every Sunday. Le llamé a Robert cada domingo. Every Sunday. Le voy a That's the first time I didn't manage it on Sunday. On Sunday. Okay. So now let's read it uh, complete. I don't work on Mondays, but last Monday I had to work. We're full at the end of the month. I'm leaving on Friday. I go to my country house every other Friday. Will you be at home this evening? I'm afraid not. Let's meet in the afternoon. We usually go to friends in the summer, but it has become so crowded that uh, there that we decided to go to Spain this summer. I don't often go out at night, but this night is a special one. My brother is having a birthday party. I phone Robert every Sunday. That's the first time I didn't manage it on Sunday. Okay, la primera vez que no pudo, que no logró hacer lo que usualmente hacía. Okay, let's see. Uh, I, I need somebody to read it. Uh, volunteer. So let's check some uh, vocabulary first. So just for you to have an idea of some uh, words. Let's check. And uh, we have um, <coughs> the expression, I'm afraid not. 
let's meet. Ok, reunámonos. Let's. Let's meet. Vamos a reunirnos. So, let's meet. Um, France. France, the country. We usually go to France, but it has become. Become. The verb become. El verbo llegar. O sea, vuelto. So, crowded. So, what's the meaning? Crowded. 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 Mm -hmm. Se ha vuelto muy lleno, demasiado congestionado, demasiada gente. There, that we decided, 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 decided. Ahí lo pronunciamos como un ID. ID. Acá. Crowded, decided. To go to Spain. 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 No, es Spain, ¿verdad? Spain. 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 This summer. I don't often, recordemos ahí el often or often, often or often, go out, go out, go out. Salir, ¿verdad? Solamente no salgo el, por las noches, pero esta noche es una special one, es una noche especial. My brother is having a birthday party. Mi hermano celebrará su fiesta de cumpleaños. Um, okay, birthday, and we check this pronunciation, birthday, 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 every Sunday, every Sunday, Sunday. Every, every Sunday, that's, miren acá tenemos la contracción de that con el verbo to be, that is, that's, that's, the first, Time I didn't, I didn't, didn't, didn't. didn't. Uh -huh. So we have the past form. Tenemos la pas forma en pasado de negativo. verbo auxiliar. Ajá, negativo. I do not, I did not. La forma en pasado. Presente ahí. Don't, uh, I didn't. No comí, por ejemplo. Yo no como. I didn't eat. Y ahí tenemos la estructura con la contracción. Didn't, didn't. I didn't drink coffee this morning because it was really hot in the morning and I was kind of uh, suffering because of this. Y le estaba gritando a todos porque no, no tomé café. No. <laughs> I was mad at the boss. Okay, let's see. Uh, somebody help me to read this information. Who wants to try? Vamos a ver, voluntarios. ¿Quién se anima a leer? Ahí. Vamos a ver, democráticamente. <laughs> let's see. Marilene, vamos a ver que se esté sonriendo. No, todos tienen la cámara apagada. Saben todos los que tienen la cámara apagada. Le vamos a preguntar. <laughs> Let's see, Marlene, pick somebody. Select a, a victim, please. Um, yes, repeat it again, please. Janet. Leonel. Janet dijo. Ah, okay, Leonel. <laughs> Janet. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I don't work on Monday, but last Monday I had to work. Work full at the end of the month. I'm living on Friday. I go to my country house every other Friday. Will you be at home this evening? And and fry and a fry not. Let's meet in the afternoon. We usually go to France in the summer, but it has become so crowded there that we decide to go to Spain. This summer, I don't often go out at night. But this night is a special one. My brother is having a birthday party 
I found Robert every Sunday. That's the first time I didn't manage it one Sunday. Okay, thank you, Lionel. So just check some words again. Um, Mondays, but last Monday I had to work. We're, we're full. We're full at we're the end full. of the month. Uh -huh. We're full at the end of the month. We're full. We're, we're the full at the end of the we month. Are, right? We're, we're, we're. Can you repeat we're. that with me, guys? We're, we're full. We're. We're full. 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 Okay. We're full. full. You're full. Are you full? We're full. Ya están llenos. Están llenitos. Yes. Estamos, estamos llenos. <laughs> ah. So that's great. So we're full. Estamos llenos. So we're full. At the saturados. End of llenos, saturados. Exacto. En este contexto, sí. Pero pensé que me estaban okay. diciendo que ya estaban llenitos. Ya no querían comer. I'm leaving <laughs> on Friday. I'm leaving. Leaving. I'm leaving. 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 On Friday. On Friday. Country house. On Friday. Country house. Country house. Country house. Country house. Okay. And here you have a question. Acá tenemos una pregunta. Miren, futuro. Will you be at home? Estarás en casa esta noche. So will you be at home? Will you be at home? Will you be at will home? Will you be at home? Will you be at home this evening? evening? Okay. Um, afraid. Afraid not. Afraid. Afraid. Afraid not. I'm afraid not. I'm afraid, I'm afraid not. not. I'm afraid not. I'm afraid not. Let's, Let's afraid meet. Not. Let's, Let's meet. meet. Let's meet. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. Usually. 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 Friends. Usually. 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 Crowded. Okay. Decided. 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 Okay, uh, special one, a uh, special one. Special one is a special one. Special one. Una fecha importante. And, okay. So that's all. Um, Let's see. Uh, do you want to read it? Okay. So probably because of the time, I'm going to leave it to you to send me an audio again. Bien, nos, bueno, entonces tom, take a screenshot with this information and you're going to record that um, for next class, for our next class. Um, for, let's say, tomorrow, yeah, by tomorrow uh, afternoon, you're going to be sending me that, okay? So we, we're going to do the same. Vamos a hacer lo mismo que hicimos en la actividad de ayer, que me enviaron el audio. Quienes nos lo han enviado, send it, please. Y vamos a grabarnos también con este, ¿ok? Ok. So, but be careful with the pronunciation. And, by the way, por cierto, también tenemos unos anuncios. Um, como se les estaba compartiendo en el grupo de WhatsApp. Dígame, Marlene. Sí. El día de ayer yo estuve conectado en otra máquina. Entonces, sí me estaba dando el problema de audio. Allí tenía yo, iba haciendo las capturas de pantalla y hoy que puse a encender la máquina ya no encendió. Entonces por eso no le pude enviar ahora el audio. No sé si me podría compartir esa tarea para podérsela enviar. Ok, ok. Sí, sí, de acuerdo. Um, ok, eh, nada más anuncios chicos. Eh, como les estaba compartiendo en el grupo de WhatsApp, eh, recuerden que ya esta es nuestra última semana, ya para este día ya tenemos que tener completas las actividades de la semana 3. Eh, ya estamos sobre la semana 4, de hecho, 
y pues terminaríamos el día lunes. Entonces pongámonos las pilas, la última semana, te, vamos a tener el fin de semana justo antes del último día. Y eso nos va a dar tiempo para ponernos al día si tienen actividades de la semana 4, ¿verdad? Ya de las semanas anteriores, eh, ya espero que ya todos nos vayamos poniendo al día. Si hay alguna actividad que haga falta, eh, revisen nuevamente. Eh, si no han realizado el examen medio, tratemos de revisarlo nuevamente. Si necesita mejorar ahí su score, también puede revisar y mejorarlo. Okay, pero en general vamos súper bien. Nada más es el recordatorio para que ustedes eh, pues nos pongamos las pilas ya este esta última semana y también con la asistencia. Recuerden que eso es muy importante para que no les afecte al momento de hacer el conteo. Ok. Bueno, ese era, ese era el anuncio nada más. Ya podemos seguir. <ríe> ok, so just let me share with you. Um, and we're going to do something very nice right now. So look at this. Ok. So for this activity, we're going to work together um, and we're going to write a, a paragraph. You're going to do that individually, but I'm going to be helping you. So you're going to look at the following paragraph presented in the next slide. And let me see if I'm, yeah, I'm sharing. Uh, and, and you're going to use some connectors in order to join your ideas. You have to create a similar paragraph about you and your coworker. And um, well, if you have questions, you ask me, right? Okay, so look at this. Um, let me check. Okay, so here, the, um, what you have to do is to write a similar paragraph to this one and use in in order to connect your ideas. Uh, and also, you have to use uh, some prepositions of time, like at, on, and if you want to add another or an extra idea, you can do it, okay? So I'm going to tell you where are you going to write that paragraph. Bien, um, let's see. So please, take a screenshot. So get a screenshot. Tomen una captura de pantalla porque la vamos a estar utilizando para que escriban su párrafo. So this is a daily routine. So you're familiar with that. And what I want you to do is to join your paragraph and add the prepositions. Lo que quiero que hagamos acá es que utilizamos las preposiciones y vayamos uniendo también con el conector ahí, el linking word de in. Si desean agregar información adicional, pueden hacerlo. So you have to write a similar paragraph. Escriban un párrafo similar, solamente pueden cambiarle algunas actividades, ¿ok? Uh, let's read this paragraph. I get to my workplace at 7.30 a.m. And my colleague gets at 8 o'clock. I give information to customers in the week. And my colleague sells products to the clients. I don't go to the workplace on weekends, and my colleague doesn't go on Tuesdays. I study English every day, right? And my colleague doesn't study, so so bad for him. Okay. Bien, si ustedes notan ahí ese párrafo, tienen que escribir algunas actividades que ustedes hacen y otras actividades que hacen los compañeros o los colegas que ustedes tienen. So just modify some verbs. Ahí solamente modifíquenles algunas actividades, okay? So the structures, you have, you already have the structures. So just modify that. Bien, uh, questions. Questions about the activity. Preguntas de la actividad, chicos. ¿A dónde la vamos a realizar? Did you get the screenshot? ¿Ya, ya tomaron la captura? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Perfect. I'm going to be sharing you the space where I want you to upload that information and just let me look for this writing activity. And we have this activity. Well, this is the pending activity that I have for the previous topic. And just let me start a session. Okay. Bien, podemos, vayamos empezando con el párrafo. Y luego eh, yo les indico dónde lo vamos a subir. Vamos a utilizar la misma herramienta que la clase. Bueno, una clase que tuvimos. Y yo les comparto el enlace donde lo pueden ir trabajando. Ok. 
se les hace más fácil, pueden trabajarlo directamente acá. Y después le toman a screenshot. Ok, let me check if this is open. Lo puedo trabajar en el chat. Eh, ahorita les comparto. Yo, de preferencia, ah, okay. trabajémoslo en el espacio que les voy a asignar para que ya para que me quede aquí también. Ok. Ok, ahorita les comparto. ¿Ese es individual o en grupo? Es individual, pero lo voy a asignar que trabajen con un compañero para que. Ustedes se, se ayuden y también, si desean escribir las actividades de sus compañeros, pueden hacerlo. Ah, ok. Bien, acá tenemos el espacio. Ya les compartí el, el enlace through the meeting chat. So you can click on that and open that. So in here, the same. Lo mismo acá, miren. Hacemos clic sobre el... So that additions, also that, that symbol. And in here you start writing, for example, um, my daily activities, for example, my daily activities and my co-workers activities. This. Okay, le puse un tema yo. Y luego ustedes ubican acá su descripción. Acá pueden empezar a escribir. ¿Sí se visualiza, okay. chicos? Yes. Ok, perfecto. También, si lo hacen en el cuadernito, recuerden lo mismo, subir la captura acá, o la foto, o si la van a tomar, pues, de allá. Directamente de... de si están en el celular y lo están trabajando en el celular, toman la foto. Ok. Questions. Preguntas, chicos, hasta el momento. Oh, for the moment. Okay, so listen up. We have about, let's say, 10, um, let's see, six to 10 minutes. Okay, so I think that's enough. I think that's approximately about eight minutes. Five to eight minutes. Okay. So let's do it. Okay, so join the breakout rooms, please. Okay, start working. Y me dicen si hay alguien que se nos quede sin invitación. Yo quito. Bien, ¿quién se me ha quedado sin invitación? Activa el micrófono. Hola, Melissa. Hola, teacher. Mire, es que yo creo que eh, toqué otra página, otra cosita ahí y me salí del. De, de... Ok, no, está bien, no se preocupe. Ahorita vamos a enviarle con. Ok, la vamos a ver aquí con alguien más. Concepción Molina, hello, hello, Concepción. Oscar Alberto, hello, hello, Oscar. Hola, Concepción, ¿nos escucha? Hola Oscar, nos escucha Oscar, eh, Concepción Molina. No es que más está por acá, Xavier.
Hola chicos, ¿cómo vamos? ¿Questions? Emerson, Fátima. No, no, por el momento no, Fátima, no, no. no sé. el del, para escribir escribo, solo le cambio, digamos, las horas o a lo que me dedico, a lo que usted dedica. Ajá, póngale, póngale actividades que vayan relacionadas a sus actividades diarias. Ok. Ajá, sí, ok, de acuerdo. Ok, gracias. Hola Karim, hola Rudy, ¿cómo vamos chicos? Hola, este, ahorita lo estoy escribiendo en el, en el cuaderno, lo voy a tomar la foto y luego lo subo. Ok, de acuerdo. Janet. Igual lo estoy escribiendo en la plataforma. Ok, me parece bien. De acuerdo, chicos. Eh, ¿No hay alguna pregunta? No, 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 por el momento no. Ok. De acuerdo, chicos, gracias. invocando mami cállate no. customers hola chicas cómo van cuéntenme aquí adivinando hola teacher ¿Cómo aquí van? cambiándole algunas cosas modificando la hora no. la hemos cambiado <risa> so, modify some activities modifiquen algunas Bien. actividades pero y, hemos cambiado la hora, pero igual sí. no sabemos ni cómo decirlo. Mi, mi teacher, es que fíjese que yo le digo a ella que me cuesta cómo se pronuncia el 30, no me sale, de ah, verdad. 30. Lo puse en Google como mil veces, pero no me sale. Vamos a ponértelo acá en el diccionario, probablemente lo escuche mejor. In from in the in the week. El 30 me dijo, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. 30. Sí. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. Thirty. 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 Okay. Le voy a compartir una, una hojita de ahí de refuerzo con los números. Okay. Ya que lo mencionó. Uh -huh. Sí. Preguntas de las actividades que están haciendo. No, okay. no. De la de ahorita. Ajá, de alguna que les de, de, algo quieran ubicar ahí. Este, I get to my workplace. Eh, y puede, y este puede ser I read it at my workplace. I arrive. It. Arrive. arrive. Ajá, llegar. Se llama uh -huh. se un poco mejor y eh, get to. Uh -huh. yeah. Este teacher. Ah, sí, pasó. Y, 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 y los, por ejemplo, donde yo trabajo de, es una óptica, vemos lentes. Entonces, si me quiero referir a lentes, de eso que.
Hola. Hola, hola, no lo escucho, se, se corta un poco. Sí, se corta. Ah, ¿Qué? Es que pues, si le quiero poner eh, mi, mi, ¿cómo se llama? Mi, co mi compañero, bueno, yo compañero le digo al uh -huh. co col college, col mi colega. Uh -huh. La pronunciación eh, de K. Lo del, pero lente te, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Colleague. ¿Y ¿Colega o compañero? Ah, mi compañero. Este, ¿Envía Colleague. productos a los lentes a los clientes? Lentes. Ah, él los vende. Ajá. Ah, el verbo vender. He sells. He sells. Sí, sí. Uh -huh. He sells. Para decir que otra persona llega, sí. tengo que usar el he si es hombre. Sí. He, he get to. Ajá, solamente que vamos a cambiarle ahí la forma de el, agregarle la S. He gets to. His. He gets to. He gets to. Uh -huh. okay. And gets. Ajá, gets, con S. Um, gets. Y, uh -huh. y en el caso de, vamos a decir, Flor, uh, he sells glasses or lenses. Ajá. Ajá, porque yo le he puesto a my college sell glasses to the laboratory. Ok, por ejemplo, lo escribo acá. Lo voy a escribir acá. Los lentes de contacto, he sells contact lenses. Los lentes de contacto, um, let's see if we have another one. Context lenses. Uh -huh. y, y la diferencia entre lenses y glasses, ¿cuál es? Ok. Que hay algunos que son, eh, tienen un uso diferente. Um, por ejemplo, pero ahí lo único que hacemos es utilizar el, sí, hijo, abrimos la puerta para que lentes, me lentes de sol, los lentes de contacto son para mi sol ver mejor. Um, también hay este, bueno, están los bifocales, ¿verdad? Hola, hola, ¿me escuchan? Sí. Sí, sí. Ok. Pero en ese caso también lo compararía ahí con, con los bifocales y los progresivos. No sé si hay alguna... Eh... Ah, okay. Ajá, bifocal lens, progressive lens. Pero eso no es una cuestión de, de, ya de los que son para mejorar la visión. Lentes de lectura. Ajá. Es que de esos son los que vendemos nosotros, de todos esos, de bifocales, multifocales. Ajá, puede ponerle bifocal lens, progressive lens. No sé cuál, no entiendo muy bien. Ah, hay, okay. hay unos que se ven cerca, otros que son un poquito más lejos. <risa> A él para leer, lo, imagino que solo para lectura, ¿verdad? No, eso es que Uh, I don't go to the, I don't go to the poor place for lentes. Pero ya me dio curiosidad un poquito eso de los lentes. Let me check that. 
the workplace. Y después dice en my college. En my college. Y después nos vamos a meter al link para subirle lo que hemos hecho, ¿verdad? Y lo vamos a escribir ahí, ¿va? ahorita. Sí, de preferencia pueden irlo haciendo, escribirlo ahí, una vez. Eh, si no, una foto le tomo. Vaya, vale, encontré algo de los lentes. Yes. Um, Ajá. Todo relacionado a visión. A contact lens is a corrective cosmetic and therapeutic lens usually placed in the cornea of the eye. O sea, acá me indica que un lente de contacto es correctivo, cosmético, pero me parece que está refiriendo a los que se ubican directamente al, a la córnea, ¿right? Del ojo. Los, en uh -huh. este caso, ajá, no hablamos de un lente de contacto, sin embargo, y, están los glasses, que son los eh, frames, son los cuadritos, ¿verdad? Um, también utilizado, ¿verdad? Para, pero eso es para la, mejorar, corregir la visión, el proteger los ojos o protegerlos de los rayos ultravioleta. Esos serían los glasses. Entonces, los contact lens, según lo interpreto acá, es, son los que se ubican directamente en la córnea, en el ojo. Sí. Sí. Hasta depende del <risa> <risa> ya, sí. ya me emocioné. Ya me emocioné. <risa> Ay, estaba leyendo, estaba interesante. Okay. Ya, ya tiene una página que le comparta a ella para cuando ya habla inglés, presente su producto así. Sí, nada, no, es en serio. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. I study English. I study English. English. Every every day. Every day. Yo al final le voy a poner que, que espere, 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 es que me confundo aquí, que es lo que quiero decir yo. Traductor. Oye, aquí. Oye, aquí. Le podemos poner, I, I don't got do de el domingo como se dice en inglés ya se me olvidó de descanso solo ponemos pongamos Pero, eh, ando buscando. son de descanso son de descanso lo que y el man me toca sería eh. o se lo digo el mío y usted me dice si tengo alguna corrección ok ya regresé. Se lo, voy a, se lo voy a leer. Ok. Le voy a leer aquí, mire. I, I get to workplace at 9 a.m. And my college get, gets at 8.30. Algo así. ¿30? A.m. I give my information, sorry. I am, I give my information in the with I my college sell progressive lens to the clients. I don't go to the workplace on Sunday. I my college don't not go on Saturday. 
I study English every day at my college too. Okay, excellent. Uh, get to my workplace. I get to my workplace. Okay. I get to my workplace. Ajá. Eh, y lo de último es de mi compañero también, porque mis compañeras también estudian. Ok, sería, y sería el otro, progressive lens. Progressive. Progressive lens. Progressive, progressive lens. lens. Progressive lens. Ok. And progressive lenses. Ajá, ponga, le puede ponerle ahí los de contacto o los clases. Ahí no sé cuáles venden, yo creo que venden de todo, ¿verdad? Ajá. No, pero es okay. No, pues. Ok, ah, pues lo voy a escribir. Y usted, María Leticia, ya terminó el suyo. Ya lo tengo en el cuaderno. Ok, se lo so me... Lo va a leer. Sí, es cortito. Adelante. I get to my workplace at nine I am. And my brother was his my colleague. Co colleague. 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 He's get to at uh, 7 a.m. He works from Monday to Friday and rest on weekends. I rest through Tuesday and Thursday and also study English at night, but he does. <clears throat> Perdón. <laughs> But he does not study. Okay, he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. He, ajá, he doesn't. Eh, la primera, una de las, de las primeras dos oraciones que tiene. Eh, le dije, I get to my workplace uh -huh. at night I am. And my brother go my College, he's get to at seven a.m. He works from Monday to Friday and reads on weekends. I read through Tuesday and Thursday and also study English at night, but he doesn't not study. En la última teacher digo yo docent not study y el ese docent lo tengo que hacer eh, negativo para no poner docent not. Ah, no, la contracción, ¿no? utilizamos la contracción. Um, en vez de decir he does not study, utilice la contracción, se va a ser un poco más fácil. He doesn't, he doesn't study. Y también ahí chequemos el he gets up, gets up, he gets up, la pronunciación, he gets up, he gets up, eh, creo que de las primeras, la pronunciación nada más, eh, la pronunciación del am es am, 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 <laughs> Ajá. Y tenemos ahí sí, donde sí. dice yo descanso, descanso, menciona dos días. Ubiquémosle la preposición ahí, I rest on sí. Tuesday. I rest on, solamente el on de ahí menciona dos días. Tuesday y Ajá. menciona otro día, me parece. I rest on Tuesday and Thursday. Uh -huh. Martes y jueves. Ajá. Y también, y bueno, y de ahí lo único que hay que corregir, quizá creerí yo que no me está para nada más, es lo del dozen. Dozen. En vez de hacerlo largo, hágalo contraído porque se le va más fácil. Pero la pronunciación dozen sería. Study. Ajá, he doesn't study. 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 Uh -huh. Study. He doesn't study. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y también, si lo va a escribir de forma larga, es does not. Study. He does not study. Si lo dice en la forma larga. Ok. Uh -huh. Bien, vamos a... Bueno, uh -huh. las dejo entonces nada más para que lo escriban allá en la, la, en la ¿Sí? pizarra y nos vemos en la sala principal. Okay.
Hello guys, welcome back. Eh, si sí, terminamos chicos, I gave you extra time. Okay, just for you to know the pronunciation for A. A. M. A. M. A. M. Okay, let's see. Oh, Fátima, solo usted se ha unido. Ahí de los demás. Let's see. Okay, perfect. Okay, nice. Awesome, guys. So I'm checking your work. Let's see, we're going to start with this one. And, no me le pusieron nombre. No sabe. No sabe, ¿quién es este? Uh, this one. My daily, my coworkers activities. Let's see. Vamos a ver, ¿de quién es el primero, chicos? ¿De quién es este? ¿Se me ayudan ahí? Este es Leonel. Leonel, uh, where is Leonel? Let's see, he's not here. Okay, so we're going to work for Leonel. Okay, no, no ha venido todavía, no aparece. Let's see, ajá, va. Estamos juntos, no sé si... Let me check where is Leonel. No, no. Leonel, are you here, Leonel? No. Let's see. Me parece que se ha salido. Okay, so let's continue with the second one. This one. ¿De quién es este? Marlene, is it yours, this one? No, oh, number three Fatima. is mine. Ah, it's Fatima. Okay. Ah, Marlene, is it yours? No, number three. Ah, okay, number three. Okay, Fatima, can you read your information, please? I get workplace at the same time. Okay, okay. and my college is at 12 p.m. I open the cell room the week and my college cell product to the gym. Don't go to the website on Tuesday. And my college doesn't go on Monday. I study English every day and my college doesn't study. Oh, okay. Thank you, Fatima. Just check this one. I get to. Llego a. I get to my workplace. And uh, okay, so let's check this one, guys. Uh, the pronunciation for this probably I didn't mention that, so now let's check. Colleague, 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 colleague. 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 Okay. Colleague. Can you repeat that with me? Colleague. 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 Clients. 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 Okay. So, customer, um, a, a difference. Ah, yes. You, you go to the point. Customer. Customer is the person that you help. Uh, customer. A client is um another company, probably. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Una diferencia podría ser. <laughs> Entre client y customer, que un cliente puede ser otra empresa a la que usted puede proveerle eh, los servicios o, o por ejemplo, eh, distribuir los productos. Un customer ya es una persona, eh, puede ser natural o alguien que va a la tienda y compra su, eh, el pan o compra o adquiere un servicio. Mm, Eso podríamos okay. hacer una diferencia entre client y customer. Pero, um, 
And let's continue with number three, um, Marlene. My daily activities in my work. I oh, hold on, hold on, Marlene. My daily activities at work. At work, okay. Okay. I get to my workplace at 5.30 a.m. And my colleague, Sara, gets at 6.30 a.m. And Melissa gets at 9 o'clock. I give information to customer in the week. And my colleague sells products to the client. I don't go to the workplace on the weekend. My colleague doesn't go on Tuesday. I study English every day at eight o'clock and my colleague colleague too. Okay, nice. So just let's check this one. That was for customer. Thank you, Marlene. Very good. And customer. Listen, listen up. Customer. 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 Okay, so let's check this. Veamos acá la definición. Nada más. Okay, vamos a aprender un poquito aquí. A person or an organization that buys goods or services from a shop or business. Bueno, como lo vemos acá, es intercambiable también el significado. Puede ser una persona o una organización. So just to check that, let's check with the clients. Okay. Eso puede ser inter Client. intercambiable el término. Person who uses the services or advice of a professional person or organization. Okay. Okay, acá tenemos una persona que usa los servicios o consejos de una persona o u organización. What well, was actually the... Uh, okay. So let's continue with this one. Um, let's see, Karin. Hello. Okay, can you read your information? I get my place <coughs> at 7.20 a.m. And my co-workers get at 7.20 I am. I give information to parents in the web and co work sell products. To the clients, I go to the workplace and my co workers do not suffer that. I study English every day and my co workers do not study. Okay, nice. Thank you, uh, Jeanette. I get okay. to, I get to my workplace. Llego a mi trabajo, mi lugar de trabajo. I get to my workplace and I am my co-workers. So check this, co-workers. Okay, so that's plural, they, right? Es plural, es ellos. Entonces sería, they get, they get. Yeah, sin agregarle la S ahí. Just check that. Um, and I give information to patients in the week. Okay. And my coworkers sell products to the patients. I go to our immigrant. Okay. Uh, the same. My coworkers. Okay. Está plural. Pluralizada, ¿verdad? Ellos. My coworkers. Sería auxiliar dura. Don. Don. Uh, on Saturday. Don't work. Okay. On Saturday. So just check that. Uh, Janet. A very nice job. Just check that. Okay. Thank you, Janet. Uh, let's continue with um, Melissa. Can you read your information, Melissa? Okay. I have my 
work please at night and my collage hit at night perfect the exam on the patient and my collage high information the production that the patient solution using workplace weekend and my collage doesn't go to try and study English every day and my collage is still in English. Okay. So check the check this uh please. Uh, AM I get to my workplace at 9 a.m. AM. Uh, I've noticed this AM. Aquí lo vamos a pronunciar como eh, si estuvieran eh, pronunciando el alfabeto AM. I perform the exam on the patient. Patient. So check some uh, words. Colleague. Yes. Colleague. Colleague. Patient. 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 Um, information to the product uh, that the patient should use. Okay. Workplace. Um, we can be careful with the guy con la escritura, con la escritura. Uh, mm -hmm. si, digamos, ahí pueden ir utilizando las estructuras que se le dan para que se les da más fácil. Weekends, okay, but that's okay. Um, okay, English. Every day and my colleague. So, my, right? My. So, just check that and try to modify that. Melissa, very good. Thank you so much. And just check that. So we continue with, um, let's see, Gerson. Gerson, can you read yours, please? Okay. Mm -hmm. My daily, daily, um, my co-workers activity. Uh, I get to my workplace at 9 a.m. Um, and my college, college, Gets at 7 a.m. I give information to customer in the week. And my college give advice to the print. I don't go to the workplace on Monday. And my college doesn't go to on Sunday. I study English every day and my college too. Okay, thank you, Harrison. So let's check some uh, words. I get to my workplace at 9 a.m. A, a, m, a, m. Okay, colleague, colleague, colleague. Okay, colleague, mm, customers, customers, customers. Customer. Like an O, customers, colleague, customer, clients, clients, clients. Okay, that's all, Harrison. Thank you so much. And we continue with, um, let's see, this is Emerson's. Hey, Emerson? Okay. Um, I wake up at 6 30 a.m. And I get to my workplace at 80, 80, 8, no, 8, 30 a.m. And my colleague gets at 9 a.m. Then I check that invent everything is in order. And my colleague should approach to, uh, you know, the, the client. The client. Too. I don't go to the work on the weekend and Monday. My colleague doesn't go on Friday. I study English every night and my colleague study Italian. Then I go to the bed at 11 p.m. Okay. Thank you so much, Emerson. Um, okay. So just the word colleague. Colleague, okay, so let's check that. I know that one is hard sometimes. 
Ok. Si sí, hay algunas palabras, como las vemos escritas, um, como las vemos escritas, a veces cometemos el error de... Es normal. Es normal. Wally. Ajá, de, de, de tratar de pronunciarla como la vemos escrita. So let's check. Collie. 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 Colleague. Colleague. Uh -huh. Colleague. 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 Um, I also heard another one. It was the team. Mm. Okay. Yes. The word study. Study. Listen. Study. 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 Okay. Nice. Study. study. Uh -huh. study. Um, I study English every night and my colleague study. study Italian. Italian. Then I go to bed at 11 p.m. Nice. Very good, Emerson. Thank you so much. And we continue with this picture. Rudy. Okay, Rudy. Hello, hello, Rudy. ¿Cómo está Rudy? Hello. Um, I get up at 4 a.m. I get to my workplace at 5 a.m. And my colleague mm. at 6 a.m. I supervise my company and my colleague send email. I don't go to the workplace on weekend. I'm my colleague, yes. I study English at night. And my colleague, no study. Okay, my colleague doesn't, doesn't. So check again that. He doesn't study. He doesn't study. Uh-huh. So he, uh, no, no, just, you have to use the auxiliary. Okay, tenemos que ponerle el auxiliary ahí. Y el not. That's not okay. He doesn't study English. Um, okay. Okay, I don't go to my workplace. Okay, I don't go to my workplace. Con propiedad, no voy a mi trabajo. Um, yes, on weekends, and my colleague. Okay, um. So let's check this sentence. I don't go to my workplace on weekends, but my colleague does. Okay. Ahí podemos ubicar un auxiliar, este verbo auxiliar, pero él sí lo hace. He goes, right? Oh my. O oh, dejarlo solamente así, but my colleague, excepto mi colega. Entonces aquí lo vamos a entender como excepto él. So I don't go to my workplace on weekends, but my colleague. Oh, lo podemos agregar. But my colleague goes to, goes to work. Okay, so thank you so much. Um, let's continue. So who's next? And this is okay. Um, let's see. Next teacher is is, is that yours? This yes, one? but but have a mistake. <laughs> I send the new. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> so you send the new one. Yes. So don't worry. It's okay. Let's see. This one. No. Next. Which one? This yeah, this yes. one. Yes. This is yours. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I get to my workplace at 8.30 a.m. And my colleague gets at 8 o'clock. I give information to the customer in the week and my colleague sells the tools to the client. We don't go to the workplace on weekends and my boss doesn't go on Friday. I work a lot every day and I go to the vacation three times a year. Wow. 
<laughs> Very good. Three okay. times a year. Okay, okay. nice. Uh, just let's check this. I get to my workplace at 8.30 and my colleague gets, gets. No, escuché mucho esa ese. Colleague gets at. I get. Gets. Ajá, uh -huh. third get. person. I give information to the customer in the weekend. My colleague sells the uh, sorry, shoes. 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 Ajá, uh -huh. shoes. <laughs> wow, the cat is angry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, that was okay. And uh, let's continue with uh, Leticia. I I get to work at I get to my workplace at nine a.m. And my brother, well, he's my colleague. He's get to at 7 a.m. He works from Monday to Friday and rests on weekends. I rest on Tuesday and Thursday and answers to the English at night, but he doesn't study. Que feo oh. escribir todo eso. <laughs> okay, don't worry, it's okay. <laughs> I remember we're learning and let's see I get to my workplace at 9 a.m and my brother who is in uh okay who is my colleague he gets ah yes yes and my brother who is my colleague uh gets okay acá ya no teníamos que ubicar el he porque aquí está mi colega mi... Oh. Uh -huh. ajá llego a mi trabajo a las 9 y mi hermano quien es mi colega uh -huh. llega entonces aquí ya el he. El his ya no. No. In, uh -huh. Solo sería gets to at 7 a.m. He works from Monday to Friday. 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 And rest on weekends. I rest on Tuesday and Thursday. 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 So Thursday. Check that again. Thursday. 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 Okay. And let's check um at night, but he doesn't study. Aha, uh -huh, just check the uh, the spelling. Doesn't. 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 Mm -hmm. Sounds like oh right, but it's Actually, the spelling is different. Perfectly different than the spelling, right? Uh, thank you, Leticia. Very nice. Floor. We continue with Floor. And that's... Okay. okay. Hi. I, I, I get to workplace at 9 a.m. I my colleagues get at 8.30. 30 I am. I give my information in the week. I my colleague self progressive lens to the clients. I don't go to the workplace on Sunday and my colleagues don't go on some Saturday. I study English every day and my colleagues too. Okay, thank you. Nice. Um let's check this. Um Colleague sells progressive lens to clients. 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 Uh -huh. clients. Clients. I don't go to the workplace on Sunday. Aquí capital letter mayúscula y con los días y los meses del año mayúscula. Um, okay, I study English mayúscula acá. The subject every day. My colleague too. Colleague too. Okay. Thank you so much, Flor. Very good. And Tatiana, okay. Olga. Okay, Olga. Uh, my daily in my work. Uh, I got to, to my workplace at 9 a.m. and my college gets at 8.30 a.m. I give information to my boss about weekly sales and my college Charles customer. I only rest on Saturday 
and my colleague doesn't on, perdón, 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 I only write on Sunday, and my college doesn't on Saturday. My college, I am study English. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Olga. And we're going to uh, practice some words that, uh, well, that you have uh, mentioned. Mm, let's see, okay, sales. Mm, okay, that's all. Probably the words that I've noticed that you have uh, some difficulty is, are this one, colic, again. Colic. So something like this. Colic. 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 Customers. 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 It's the opposite. Customers. Customers. Okay, very Sales. good job, guys. Excellent work. So now we continue and uh, congratulations because you're doing great. Okay, so don't feel uh, bad if I make a comment. So that's part of the process, but a uh, very good job. So I'm very happy because you're very smart students. Estoy muy feliz porque ustedes se esfuerzan y pues ustedes lo van a ir viendo. A veces se les hace comentarios para que ustedes vayan mejorando. So don't worry if you make mistakes, so that's okay. Está bien, um, a veces equivocarse. Well, that's part, right? It's part of the, the aprendizaje. Okay, so now let's continue. Uh, I have some important information to share with you. And uh, probably we don't have enough time, but uh, we're going to um, discuss, discuss what we have. Okay. So right now, uh, the next topic that we're aiming at today is prepositions of place. We're going to use in, on, and at again, but as prepositions of place. Continuamos siempre con eh, las preposiciones. So, but uh, in today's class, we're going to check some usages uh, with a uh, place. And now let's check some vocabulary that we have in here. Uh, the first one is corner. So listen up and repeat that with me. Corner. Corner. Neighbor. Corner. Neighborhood. 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 Avenue. 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 Street. Avenue. Avenue. Street. Street. City Hall. City Hall. Restaurant. 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 Okay. Corner. Esquina. Corner. Esquina. Muy bien. Neighborhood. Esquina. What is a neighborhood? Vecino. Vecindario. Okay. El vecindario. Vecindario. La, col la colonia. Let's say. Mi vecindario. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Avenue. That's clear. Avenida. 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 And street. Calle. Calle. City Hall. Calle. City Hall. Dentro de la, de la ciudad. 
Ajá, es no. la alcaldía, City Hall. Oh, City, City Hall. Hall. Ajá, la alcaldía. Oh, and restaurant, right? Restaurant. So let's match that. City We also Hall. have some more vocabulary. Interview. 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 Prepositions of time. Prepositions of time. And scramble. And scramble. 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 Yes. 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 Okay, interview. What is an interview? interview. What's that? Entrevista. Entrevista. Okay, prepositions of time. Can you mention them? Unscramble. 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 Decifrar, okay, and scramble. Decifrar. So, what is the word in this picture? What's the word? Apple. 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 Okay, guess. Apple. What is guess? Guess. Mm -hmm. Question. So, if I, I ask you, make a guess. Adivinar. Very good. And? Adivinar. Adivinar. Guess. So that's Adivinar. Yes. Can you repeat this again? Paragraph. Yes. 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 Money, okay. So what is a pocket, by the way? La, what's a pocket? Billetera. La billetera, okay. Oh. You sure? So what's a pocket? Oh. Bolsa. Ajá, los bolsillos. Ajá. Los bolsillos. Sí, bolsa del pata. Okay. Okay, pick. Pocket. What, what if I tell you pickpocket? Any idea? Pick. No. No? Okay. Dinero de la bolsa. Pickpocket. Robar de los bolsillos, robar las carteras. So pickpockets. Robar. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And the <laughs> robo, the <laughs> Let's see. Um. So, what else can you uh, find in your pocket? So, what is in your pocket? In my pocket, there is a cent. Yes, I have a cent in my pocket. Can you say it? No, that's not visible. I don't know why. Ah, uh, yes, here. So there is a cent in my pocket. How about you? What do you have in your pocket? Quarter. <laughs> a quarter. Quarter. Okay, a quarter. What else? <laughs> what do you have? Money. Money. Five cents. Five cents. One thousand. Okay. Marlene, what do you have? Yes, Marlene. One dollar. One dollar. Okay, <laughs> nice. And Leonel, what do you say? Uh, one thousand. One thousand dollars. So one thousand dollars. Dollars. Yeah. Okay. Many dollars. Or cents. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Many dollars. Okay, nice. So now let's continue. Question two. Um now I want you to look in your back or backpack and tell me what can I find in your backpack. In my backpack, there is a laptop. A there is a, let's see, a cell phone in my backpack. My lunch. Books. My books. Notebook. Notebook. Notebooks. Mm -hmm. What else? Um, let's see. Melissa. Ah, oh, yes. Pencil. Pencils. Makeup. Okay. And Janet, what is in your bag? 
books. Hmm. What else? What else can you find in your bag? And... Yes, Marlene? Sobre de café. Sachets? No sachets. No, sachets. Uh, yes, sachets. Um, let me write that. So I think this sachets. Bolsas? Coffee, sachets. Uh -huh. Los sobrecitos de, de, de café. De café. Uh -huh. Yes, coffee sachets. And let's see, uh, what else? I, let's see, I haven't asked uh, Fatima, what do you have in your bag or backpack? My makeup. Your makeup. Anything else? Just that makeup money. Let's see. Coffee sachets. Okay. I'm getting old. <laughs> okay, and now um, look at your desk and describe what is on your desk. What is on your desk, guys? Computer. There is a computer, yes. Okay, computer. Paper. Notebook. Notebook, okay. Emerson? Cell phone. Cell phone, um, nice. Emerson? Melissa, Tatiana, what is on your desk? Okay, I saw it. Calculator. Teaser. Pencils, nice. Calculator. Mm -hmm. I okay. think my shine. My shine. Let's see. Leticia, can you repeat it again? What is on your desk? Printing. Ah, Writing okay. my shine. Okay. There is a printer. A printer or a printing machine. Okay. La máquina. Mm. Machine. A printer or a printing machine. So both of them. Okay. Printer. So that is a printer, nice. So now we have very nice information and we're going to um, just check the usages. Vamos a ver los usos ahí de in, on, at, como preposiciones de lugar. So now let's check them one by one. At, for, we're going to use this, at for specific uh, locations. For example, acá lo tenemos subdividido. At a point, at the top, at the bottom, at the end of. Um, at group activities, at school, at university, at home, at work. And as in uh, prepositions of time, they also have some fixed um, or standard expressions. También hay algunas otras en palabras que están eh, fixed o estandarizadas. Vamos a decir así. Por ejemplo, con home y work. At home y at work. Shops at también lo utilizamos con tiendas. Por ejemplo, at the bakery, at a cafe, at the chemist. So look at the first examples. We have at a point, en un punto en específico. At the door. For example, uh, Marlene is at the door. Open, please. At the crossroads, at the traffic light, in el cruce, in, in el semáforo. So we're giving specific points. Uh, we also have at with the words top, bottom, and end of. También tenemos estas otras, otras palabras eh, ya estandarizadas. At the top of the stairs. Arriba de las gradas, abajo de, o, oh, at the bottom of the page, abajo de la página, al final de la página, más bien. Arriba, abajo, y al final de la calle. We also use at with group activities. También lo utilizamos con actividades grupales. Por ejemplo, fiestas, conciertos, em, películas, at the cinema. So where something is being done. Donde hay una actividad. Por ejemplo, una reunión. At a meeting. 
¿Cuál podría ser otra otra actividad grupal? At, at a meeting en una reunión. At a conference Class. en una conferencia. At a conference. Okay, but the difference in here is the following. Pero acá, uh, the activity is happening inside of a building. At a party, at a concert, at the cinema. Entonces, acá hay personas reunidas en un lugar. Es decir, que está dando la actividad dentro de un, una ubicación. At a party, at a, she is at a party. Ella está en una fiesta donde hay más personas, están dentro del edificio, por ejemplo. At a meeting, en una reunión, en una conferencia, en el cinema. En el cinema, right? Uh, we also use at with the word school and university. Um, study, uh, she studies, or well, she is at school. Uh, he's she is at, at school. university. If I'm asking where is, where is uh, Tatiana? She is at school. Where is Fatima? She is at university. University. Okay. University. Uh -huh, so you don't say, um, mm -hmm. she's at university. También con las palabras home y work. Uh, I'm at home doing the laundry. She's at work right now. She's at work right now. También lo utilizamos, el último ahí. Eh, bueno, con esas palabras, con home y work, vamos a utilizar at, con las tiendas. Miren acá, negocios. At the bakery, at a cafe, at the bakery, at the cafe. También tenemos ahí con, con las tiendas. Con las tiendas podemos utilizar at. She's at the bakery, she's at a cafe, she's at a chemist, she's at the drugstore, she's at the, let's say, shoe store, está en la tienda de zapatos, she's at the bookstore, she's at the bookstore, está en la biblioteca o en la tienda, she's at the library, or she's at the bookstore, library and bookstore. So what's the difference? Library Bookstore. Vamos. Bookstore. La primera es la Library. Library. biblioteca. Y la segunda es Li tienda, tienda de, libro. de libros. La tienda de libros. Ok. Nada más recordemos que acá nos estamos refiriendo a, con los negocios. Con los negocios, para mencionar la ubicación, utilizamos at a bakery, at a cafe. Utilizamos at. Porque vamos a ver otro ejemplo con, um, veamos... Vamos a ver otros ejemplos ahí donde, donde notamos que hay una pequeña diferencia. Y eso sería con in. So look at this. We have in for 3D spaces, para espacios 3D. Por ejemplo, los casos que veíamos. Dentro de la bolsa, dentro de la mochila, en el salón de clases, in a box. So we're talking about spaces with boundaries. Estamos hablando de espacios. En ese caso 3D, o espacios eh, delimitados. Por ejemplo, en el salón de clases. Una vez usted entra eh, al salón de clases, estamos hablando de ese espacio donde se ejecuta la clase, right Estamos mencionando que las personas eh, o cualquier algún otro objeto está dentro de. In the back, in the classroom, in a box. Territory, también tenemos territorio. In London, in Europe. In the Alps, in the world. Territorio, nos referimos a países, a departamentos en nuestro caso. Eh, por ejemplo, podría ser también vecindarios, colonias. Eh, ¿Qué más? Bueno, eso, a eso se refiere con territorio. Países, departamentos, eh, municipios, y colonias. In London, in Europe. In the Alps, in the world. También tenemos esas dos palabras adicionales ahí. En los Alpes, en el mundo. Um, for example, um, where do you live? The question, where do you live? I live in, where do you live? Leonel, where do you live? I live in El Salvador. I live in San Salvador. I live in... Let's say in soya, for example, I live in soya or somewhere else, right? So that's just an example. 
También la vamos a utilizar con eh, la palabra carro y van. Car in the car in the van. Para mencionar que algo está dentro del auto. Okay. Yeah. We also use in with uh, terms related to water. For example, in the sea, in a river, in a lake, like in the in swimming pool. Cuando sea agua, um, utilizamos ahí in. So where are you? I'm in the beach. I'm in Costa del Sol. Oh, uh, <laughs> let's say uh, swimming and eating fish and shrimps. In a uh, Ichamichi. Okay. <laughs> uh, in a river, in a lake. Uh, for example, I'm in a pool, let's say. <laughs> I'm in the swimming pool. So visit the pool. <laughs> um, también tenemos acá con material impreso, in a book, in a picture, in the newspaper. Ok, acá nos estamos refiriendo que, por ejemplo, there's a picture in, in the book. Hay una foto en el libro. Está dentro de, right? Ahí está. In, in the newspaper, I read it in the newspaper. Lo leí en el periódico. Estamos refiriendo a el contenido que está dentro del el periódico, dentro del libro. O alguna o una persona que está en una, en una picture, right? Una foto. And, bueno, nos quedamos por aquí. Ya no nos da el tiempo para más. <ríe> ok, so we will continue tomorrow. Vamos a continuar el día de mañana, chicos, con este tema. Okay. Y ya nos vamos con más práctica, ok? Thank you guys for being today. We're going to pass the attendance list. Vamos a pasar la asistencia. Just help me saying present. Okay. ¿Cómo se sienten? ¿Se sienten bien este día? Yeah. Tired? Yes. Okay. But you're going to uh, sleep in a moment. Okay. <laughs> I hope so. Que nada más un recordatorio y eh, no olviden eh, hacer algunas actividades que si tienen alguna actividad pendiente o si tienen dudas también. Bien, eh, me ayuda ahí. Eh, Blanca Flor Jiménez Alejo. Present. Thank you. Claudia Guadalupe Alfaro Rivera. Okay. Concepción de la Soledad Molina. Emerson Leonardo Tobar. Hola chicos, ¿me escuchan? Yes. 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 Oh, okay. yes. Emerson yes. Leonardo Tobar, no está acá. Let's see. Solo que se, se oye interferencia. Sí, yo también lo acabo de notar. Vamos a ver. Okay. 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 No sé si me, me puso a mí. ¿Hola? Flor. No, Concepción. No, Concepción apareció ahí. Ah, Concepción. Uh -huh. no, no, le, esto no le había escuchado. Ok. Ahora sí. Gracias, Concepción. Eric Emerson Mengibar Calles. Present. Ok. Thank you, Emerson. Evelyn Marlene Guevara. Present. Thank you, Marlene. Fátima Beatriz Franco. Present. Thank you, Fátima. Gerson Enoch Bonilla. Present teacher. Thank you, Gerson. Karin Janet Martinez. Present. Thank you, Leonel Gustavo Fuentes. Funes, perdón. Present. <laughs> María Leticia Relegueño. Present teacher. Thank you, Leticia. Melissa Stephanie Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you, Melissa. Nailea Isamar García. Present teacher. Thank you, Olga Tatiana Portillo. Present. Thank you, Tatiana. Oscar Alberto Aguilar Romero. Rudy Alexander Asensio. Presente, teacher. Thank you, Rudy. Sara Noemí Jiménez Guerra. Present. Thank you, Sara. Wilber Francisco Javier. And Xavier Ernesto López Mendoza. Okay. okay. Nice. Um, muy bien. Nos quedamos este día con... Um, let's see... I think that's Rudy and 
Yes, Rudy, I think. Okay, Rudy and Sara, if you have a question, you what? Rudy or Sara? I don't have Where a question. <laughs> okay, nice, right, smart. Okay, guys, <laughs> so that's all for today. And I think I'll see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Okay, guys, bye -bye. have a great night. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. See you. See you. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Guys. Have a great night. Uh, let's see. Okay.